What's going on everybody? All right, I'm shooting this on my new camera. Let me know if it's any clearer than when I just shoot them on my iPhone 12 Pro Max. Um, but what this video is about is I just got some photos sent to me by SeaWorks Design. I wanna appreciate you sending me those. Um, say thanks for that because I hadn't even seen these yet. I don't have a lot of time to actually uh, um, watch a lot of videos on YouTube, but apparently there's several videos already out there about this, but I've been running and exercising and shooting videos and working full-time job. I just don't have time to keep up with that anymore, and I didn't even know these were out here. But apparently somebody uh, from Joe Craig at Craig Auto leaked some photos that are possibly the 2021 Toyota Tundra, and I want to go over these with you. I'll put a picture up on the screen so you can see what I'm talking about as we go uh, through it. But um, let's go over this together. Let's let's see what we got. Because, like I said, this is the first time I'm really seeing them. I want to tell you my thoughts as we go through them so you can look at it with me. And in the comment section below, you can tell me your thoughts as well. But let's get into this. All right, so first we have a big front end, this big mouth front end. I'm not a fan of that. I'm just not a huge fan of that big mouth front end. Looks more like a Dodge. I've never liked Dodges. I, I've never been a Dodge fan. I've, I've never liked those. Um, maybe if the center bumper was painted red to match, I'm not a red fan either, but maybe if that bottom piece in the center was color matched, it wouldn't be as bad. I think it would look better if that was color matched. Uh, that is black because with that black center bumper piece it just looks enormous now i do like the three lights in the center which tells me this truck is wider than the current trd pro because the reason they put those lights on there is because if a truck is over a certain uh, width they have to put those marker lights in the hood like that so that tells me this truck is actually going to be pretty wide and the current Toyota Tundra is actually pretty wide anyway. When I first got in mine, I was like, holy crap, it takes up the whole road after driving my F-150. I do like the light bar that we talked about in the other video. I like the little fog lights and I really, really like the headlights. I like how the daytime running lights appear to come down and then go back up along with the round LEDs in the center. And this makes me think that this is a real photo because this looks a whole lot like what we seen in the you know teaser that Toyota put out. Now let's move up to the hood. I really like the way this hood looks. I like the way it's scooped out in the center, it has like a dip. But if you look on the side, this is what jumped out at me. The current Raptor, has like little fins and stuff on the side of the hood. It appears like this truck also has those, which leads me to think that maybe Toyota is finally going after the Raptor. After all these years, I've wanted them to do this. Maybe they are now finally going after the Raptor. And you know, this truck is wider, so it must be about as wide as the Raptor. It looks like the stance is a little taller than the current TRD Pro. This is a TRD Pro. We'll get into that here in a minute. And it looks like the stance is actually a little taller. Either they put smaller tires on it, which I don't believe they would have, or they've made the truck taller because it looks lifted in this photo. So I do like that, which tells me they probably got some really good suspension on it to compete with the Raptor, uh, you know, side by side. Now we get down to the fender flares. If you look at this photo, this fender flare looks funky. There's no way these little holes are actually in this, but in the photo, uh, it does look like it's got little holes, but there's no way that that, that fender flare actually looks like that. I, I think it's just something in the photo making it do that. I like the fact that there is no chrome on this truck. Uh, as you look down the side, there's nothing. It's all blacked out. The wheels are either charcoal gray or black, and I really, really like that. I've never been a fan of chrome wheels, so I'm glad they blacked these wheels out. Blacked out running boards, blacked out mirrors. Again, the only thing I wish they hadn't blacked out was that centerpiece on the bumper. I really think that needs to be color matched because it just makes that grill look enormous. It puts me in mind of, like I said, a Dodge Ram, but it's so big, it makes me think of that Chevy HD with that huge grill on the front. Down the side of the truck, you know, you can't really make the side of a truck look much different than the side of a truck. So I don't think it looks totally, totally different. There is some different lines in the fender and stuff, but you know, it has that Tundra look on the side. So let's move into the next photos. So the next photos has the TRD Pro stamped into the tailgate. I'm fine with that, but I really, 
really, really liked it when they had it stamped in the side of the bed on the current generation. I, that is the my favorite thing about the TRD Pro is that the bed sides had TRD Pro stamped in them. I like it better than it being in the tailgate. I wish they would have left that alone. And maybe they've got them in this bed too because you can't see the bedside. But I don't think that from what I could see that it was on the bed sides. Now you can see again there's three marker lights in the back um, on, the, on the tailgate. I've not really seen that a whole lot in trucks. You know, even the big HDs and stuff like that, I've never noticed that. They may be there, but I've just never noticed it. Again, you have the blacked out center uh, rear bumper. Not sure I'm a fan of that blacked out bumper with the painted uh, end caps. I think I would prefer that to all be painted one color, but I'm kind of disappointed with the TRD Pro and the tailgate. I would, again, prefer that in the bedside. And just looking at this photo, if I zoom in on it, I know I can't zoom your alls in as well, but it looks like the tail lights are now LED as well. Uh, that's that's a welcome upgrade right there because a lot of people want to put LED tail lights in their Tundra, and from what I've seen on a lot of them, now there are exceptions, but on a lot of them they don't fit as good as the factory ones. So putting LEDs in the next generation tail lights would be a welcomed upgrade. Now, if we go into the last photo here, it just kind of shows like a zoomed in um, front grille and tailgate. There again, we can see a little bit more of the hood. If you look to the top right and the top left, you can see those little fins or them little aerodynamic outlets right there for like, the, like what the Raptor has, the little black um, pieces they've added to the hood. I like how the hood dips down. I think the hood looks very very aerodynamic for a truck and very sporty. And again, the bottom photo, I would have preferred them left the TRD Pro in the bedside, but that is just my opinion. And if you zoom in on the headlights, it looks like, if I go back to the first photo, it looked like there was only two LED lights in the headlights. But in this last photo, it looks like there are four LED lights. And that may just, no, it, when I zoom in on this photo, it looks like there's four LEDs um, in the headlights. So maybe two for, two for the low beams and two for the high beams. But in that first photo, it only appears like there are two LEDs. So it looks like the headlights almost changed in this last photo. I don't know if anybody else has noticed that, but it does kind of look like um, they're different and if I go back also if you look at the first photo and the last photo the teardrop coming down on the headlights look like it's a little bit lower I don't know if it's true or if that's just the way this this photo makes it look but they do look a little bit lower okay now overall I think the truck looks pretty good there again, like I said, I, I hope they paint the bottom section of that bumper so that that grill doesn't look this big. I mean, it's just enormous. Um, and if it doesn't, you can always have it painted. I mean, that's that's something that you can do, you know, take it somewhere and pay a few hundred dollars and they can color match the centers of the front and rear bumpers. So if I was to buy one of these TRD Pros, that is something I would probably look at doing. Again, uh, not sure exactly the en engine option for this truck. I'm sure it will have the higher horsepower, possibly hybrid engine in it, um, which would be pretty amazing for performance. There again, like I said, like I've talked in other videos, maybe not so much on the million mile longevity. Tell me what you think about it in the comment section below. I know there's a lot of other videos and I'm late to the game as usual. But again, let me know what you think. Let me tell you, let me know if you like it. Do you like that big grill? Do you agree with me? Do you wish they'd paint the front end of those bumpers or the center sections of those bumpers on the front and rear to kind of break up all that huge grill and just all the black plastic and everything that's in that? I, I hope they do. But uh, let me know below. I appreciate y'all watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.